Notice that the girl just purchased something for $200, as you can see by her receipt. The $200 receipt should help you remember that reactivation of JC virus typically doesn't occur until the CD4 count is less than 200. The expensive $200 article of clothing that was just purchased was this intricate polka dot veil. The veil is a symbol for progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. The many polka dots are a reference to the multifocal, non-enhancing areas of demyelination in the brain. And the fact that the veil covers her head should make you think of the brain, or encephalopathy. So, intricate polka dot veil for JC virus causes progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, or PML. The non-enhancing areas of demyelination can be seen on an MRI. So to help you remember this, we've shown an MRI of the brain in front of the sleeping employee. This is an MRI of the brain showing PML. The left and right are weighted differently, but it's the same patient. Notice the enhancing lesions seen right here and right here. Finally, we've included a bunch of CDs to the image underneath the JC Penny store. Let's zoom up so you can see this better. As you can see, there are a bunch of CDs of the famous jazz singer Nat King Cole in the JC Penny store. And this is here to help you remember that the risk of PML increases in patients who are taking natalizumab. Nat King Cole sounds kind of like natalizumab, so this will be our symbol for natalizumab. This is an immunosuppressant medication that's used to treat multiple sclerosis and Crohn disease, but the immunosuppressive effects of the drug result in an increased risk of PML. 